In this video we're going to look at some user options available in REI Master. The first one is to do with the toolbar along the top here, how you can reorder or display different icons. The second thing we'll look at is the dashboard which will show you different tiles and charts which contain information about your business. So have a look at the toolbar options that we have available. So these are based on user options. So under setup, users profiles portfolios and user options we are looking at the toolbar tab here. So at the moment we're looking at the REI Master standard toolbar as we can see business owners, rentals, tenants etc along the top here. What we can do is customize this toolbar so in the drop down list here we select the custom option we then have the ability to select the different icons or buttons that will display and the particular order. So I'm just going to rearrange these slightly we'll just look at it from a, a holiday slash permanent uh, database so my first button, I'm going to replace the business one with the bookings one. I'm just going to reorder how I see my owners, rentals and tenants as well. I'm going to change this one here to a tenants. Uh, we'll look a bit more at some uh, booking or holiday information agents and allotments. Uh, what else we'll put in there? Oh, we'll go back to looking at our owners then, then our rental properties. And then we might move the business one into that location there. So I've just reordered some of those ones there. I'll leave the rest as they are but you can see there's up to 17 buttons that are available so you can have up to 17 options available in that toolbar along the top here. So once I've made my changes here, save and close, you'll see then that these icons or buttons have now been reordered into one that I prefer uh, to have the order in. These options are available per user. So I've logged in under my user here. So this is how my user is set up to see the icons in that particular way. Next we're going to look at the dashboard. So again that is a user option available from setup, users profiles portfolios, user options and then the dashboard here. So the first thing we need to do in order to see the dashboard is to activate it. And I won't, leave, I won't make any changes to these selections here. We'll just save and look at what shows up first. So what we have here is a number of tiles that display. Now based on my database having a mixture of holiday and permanent rental types, we get information about some holiday detail, arrivals, booking deposits, departures, housekeeping, etc. But we also get some information about tenants there. So tenants vacating, tenants in arrears. So these are the tiles that we've activated to see on the dashboard. There is a number of charts then that can be inserted uh, in the blank spaces that we see. So let's have a look at those now as well. Under the setup option, users profiles portfolios, back into user options and then the dashboard tab. We now have up to five charts that can display in that grey space that we can see. So underneath the drop down list here you can see there's more than five charts that can be displayed. So I'm just going to pick the first five as an example. So I've selected five charts there to display and again they're a mixture of holiday and permanent charts that we can display. So I save my changes, close the screen there. We've now still got our tiles showing here. We've now got couple of extra tiles, some now got some charts that will display as well. And these charts just show you information about uh, your business or about the database. So these charts are just for display purposes only. They're not interactive ones, we can't click on them to look at anything further, it is just to display information. However, our tiles are interactive. So we'll have a look at here, we've got today's arrivals. If I hover over the option here, view today's arrivals, click on that option there and it takes me straight to the booking search grid here or search list to show me my two arrivals for today. Similarly with the departures there I've got a hyperlink showing here so view today's departures if I click on that one there it takes me straight again to my list of departures due today. For the permanent side of things as an example we've got some tenants in arrears so again I've got a hyperlink to view those tenants there again will take me to my list, a filtered list then of tenants who are in arrears as of today's date. Most of these tiles here are interactive, most of them have a hyperlink showing and it will take you to that information display there for you. 
Let's have a look at a couple of other options that are available. So again, under the setup, users profiles, portfolios and user options. Under the dashboard option, we have the option to show a title bar for the dashboard. So I'll tick that one on, save and close. So what we now get is our dashboard showing up on a white background here or a little white screen. With this option, you can actually hide the dashboard. If you close using the red cross at the top right here, the dashboard is hidden. To display it again, go to Tools, Dashboard, and click the Show option, and it will reappear for you. The other option available there, to darken the tile label. So click on that one there, Save, and Close. We've now got the headers on our tiles are darkened slightly. So again, dependent on your computer screen there or your display or how you prefer to see things, you've got some options to display a background or to darken the tile labels. So I'm just going to make a couple more changes to those ones there. My preference personally, just to have the tile labels darkened so I can see the information like that. With the dashboard displaying without the title bar, we can still hide this one as well. So again, under the Tools drop-down list, under Dashboard, we can hide it. And again, if you want it to reappear or redisplay, Tools, Dashboard, and Show. In the next couple of screenshots, I'm just going to show you the other charts that are available. So I'm just going to make a change to those ones so you can see how they then display. So the charts we're looking at now, this month's arrivals by region, this month's arrivals by primary source, your properties by portfolio, properties gained and lost over the period, properties by category. The other two charts that are available, properties by zone, properties by letting type. So in this video, we've looked at some user options that are available to you, specifically the toolbar along the top, how you can reorder or display different buttons or icons along there dependent on your user. And also the dashboard, how you can view different tiles, different charts to give you information about your business.